Winner of this match wins one million dollars. Second place is three hundred thousand. Yeah, second place is 300,000. Oh, that's a salty second place. Oh man. Uma about to cash out. No one expected this. I kind of expect... I didn't expect it at first, but when I saw him in the group stage, I was like, nah, this dude is nice. I thought the Spear King was going to make it out as well. The yeah, Jury. yeah. He had the crazy Feng Shui engine. Yeah. His, his level two was crazy. So, I like Uma's uh level two as well. Oh, dead. Uh oh. Hold on, Chris Wong woke up. Just don't make this a, a six zero, please. Come on, Uma. Just run back. You can expect Chris Wong to come in with a different approach. Oh, but that was a Ooh, huge nice error. punish. Bro, Stan Jab punish counter. Dry oh, finally, he punished with Crouch Guy. Yeah. Chris Wong is excellent at doing when he blunders. Someone must have told Chris Wong how to punish Light Fuha. Up close. Kind of salty as fourth place. Fourth place isn't that salty. I mean, like, comparatively speaking. It's fifth place that ties as extra. Yeah, so. yeah, because yeah, that's 10k. 10k tie from 90 is nuts. Yeah. Fourth place at least still get 100k. That's not. That's still a decent amount. That's a good amount. But fifth place, I'd cry. Combo should do it. No, he didn't want to burn him out. He's saving it because he wants to take the game. Oh damn, that stare down. down. That respectable. Wild Ooh. stare down there for the two. Staggers the light, gets the grab. Uh oh, hold up. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, perfect Ooh. No way he said, nah, 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 nah. You're not catching me like that. ready for it. In fact, that's what he did towards the last end of the first set in winners' finals against Chris. Dude, the fact that he's ready and calm to do that at this late stage in the tournament, props to him, man. So many people would have capitulated in that scenario. Ooh. Mm. Very rare drop from Chris Wong. This is going to be everything for Uma. He might get the burn Ooh. he does secure it. Uh-oh. So Time Ooh. to guess. Ooh. He gets oh, the oh, oh. Jump, medium punch. Why are you jumping? He's got to deal with this. He's going to harass him to hell. Oh, he could have got a comp to level three. Throws it out just in case he's going to check with something else, but it didn't quite work out. There's a delay. And nice level three. Rider. It's going to re fully refresh that drive beater there for Chris Wong. A little bit of a difference in this critical art territory. Chris Wong, what are you going to do on offense? You have your gauge back now. Block on the overhead. Low on drive gauge. He's trying to run away, so he has at least two bars to work with for something, Uma. One drive rush cancel from either of them will do the trick. You see the pace oh. from both ends. That was a little... <gasps> Ooh, opened him up crazy. Well, this is the big thing, especially Hold at on. this late stage and high level of the game. Your drive rush cancels from light are such a turnaround. They are such a pivotal thing to use because it can go into heavies because of the extra frame advantage you can work with. And that's what's been saving Chris Wong time and time again. There's a drive impact there, and he's going to go for the jump conversion instead. This is a pretty decent damaging conversion there from Uma. Oh, that was slightly delayed. You can see the counter hit as well. Uma is dash up again, forcing the point with those lights, or excuse me, with the pressure instead. It's funny, this was the grand finals of their CPT. Yeah, let's just, let, let's find out that this is the real best uh, spot of the world. Not Japan or America. Or Europe. Oh man, this is crouch heavy punch. Yeah, he's he's Ooh. ominous. Oh, nice. my God, dead. No meter, too. Yeah, he gets, to, he gets to save all that for oh. next round. All he needs is two touches, and that's it. You could just tell by Chris Wong's face, he really wants to win first. Yeah. A little bit more than Uma. 
Uma chilling. I think yeah, he, he just he just yeah, happy. He just happy. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm a guy like 300k. He chilling. That was actually beautiful. That was, it was beautiful. Oh, as, soon as, as soon as he was uh, got the 300k, he oh, wow. said, "That's a house. I'm I'm bitch chilling." Burnout. Oh, he's fighting back. Let's see what Uma can make out of this. The corner carry. Safe job. Significant as well. Oh, no, no. Yeah, he missed? Oh, he thought he didn't have a fireball stored. Ooh! It's crazy because I'm pretty sure he could have converted off of that roundhouse with Super. Yeah. Wait, that, that would have been a crazy reaction. Yeah, it would have been crazy if he did that. One more win for him will reset the bracket. Uma thinking about like, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. But what does he do at this point? He, he was he was chilling when he had a again, when he had like a two sets. Two it's not night and day, but it's uh, he won close. he won game away from the Sometimes reset. He had to go back and think about that. Even force a loop it's funny when they was playing in winners, he was smiling. He's not smiling yeah. no more. <laughs> He's you like this shit right got now. serious. It's amazing to see. Let's see if Uma can turn this around. That shit hit him like, oh, this is really, this is really for the Millie. <laughs> Winner's Finals wasn't for the million yet, really. <laughs> yeah. I love the high level players doing drive rush into specials, even if it helps level up something there. What a snipe out too with the heavy. Chris Wong. Chris Wong been playing every match like it's for the mill since CPT started. And that's how he's supposed to play. <laughs> His rank matches be for the mill. Even World Tour is for the mill. <laughs> he played World Tour. I used to try hard in World Tour mode. <laughs> Please tell me there's no reset. No, there's no reset yet. Uma can still make a comeback. Yeah, he could. Oh, I like wow. That. He immediately stopped the momentum to stop Ooh. the driver. Check the crouch and medium punch there from Luke Uma. And again, dashes into danger. Again, oh, no. He got to stop doing that. Chris Wong. Oh, like, what? Chris Wong. Oh, no. You're dead. Amends, but it didn't work oh, you mean, like, no reset at all? Nah, bro. There got to be a reset. But... Ain't no He's way. Do safe jump instead and deal with this. What would be the point of this winning and winners fine? Oh, wow. I was going to ask, does Chris Wong force... The out yeah. Oh, yeah. Nah, Chris is playing so devious. I was talking about in the corner, right? You have a character in burnout, who has such a significant life lead, and there's a critical art stop. I was wondering if Chris Wong would have gone to that decision. But either way, that's all said and done with. Into the next round, Uma. So sitting at three bars, Chris Wong at two. Great defensive sequence there from Chris Wong to regain the drive gauge lead here, and he's just waiting for anything, some movement to react to. Or take again. Almost got the drive rush light punch there. Didn't quite work out. I see Men RD do that a fair bit. He was talking about that earlier in the hotel. Nice cross cut. Oh my he god. Said, Get back. Punish? Oh, he dropped. Oh, no punish. Yo, they choking. Oh, he's choking again. Oh, burnout. Nah, they're getting real scrambly over there. I can't lie. Are the nerves playing a I just do the Uma. DI buggy. Yeah, I'd say fuck it. I don't you trust you reacting. Yeah, you too stressed out right now. He will threaten that stun. It is a low hanging fruit. Wait, damn. damn. Sheesh. Ladies and gentlemen, we are Shit. going to a reset. Bracket reset. Chris yeah, Wong prediction is back up, chat. Three to zero. All right, Uma. two minutes, what two minutes. Do now? That's the question here. Taking a sip of the water, staying hydrated. Stay hydrated. He said, "Take the home. sip of the water." Super important here. I think even because it was three-two in the winners' final, that could have gone either way. I think after that point, he said, "Okay, I know." Like, he I still don't look that worried. He, he just he just cool. Oh wait, nah, he was stressed. Never mind. Here. Dominating fashion in that was a stressful ass head scratch. Final. So this is our final three games here at Capcom Cup Ten. Somebody is earning a million dollars after his first of three. Sheesh. So I, I, want, uh, I, I still want Chris Wong against you. So, Come on, I'm not going against see. this guy. This guy is it's different. The of the end. All tied up again. Losers bracket for both. You're in the grand finals. Uma now brought down to Chris Wong's level. 
Let's see if he fires on those cylinders right now, and he goes for staggered pressure here. This is a lot of drive gauge in the process. Or something, and a hard read there with the jump. He wasn't doing that in the first game, and that was a read on the Sandblaster for sure. And I saw a back that's there from Chris Wong that gets punished. He's going for all the OD moves there. It's Uma. Uh oh. Uma turning up. A huge difference in aggression. Chris Wong not ready for it just yet on defense. And this is going to be great. You know, Uma, he could take this damage. But what happens after the situation with the advantage on knockdown? Excellent defense. Ooh. Uh oh. You know what? Either way, there's a fire. Let me find out Uma was sandbagging in winners. Chris Wong didn't have enough life to retaliate with a TI of his own. Well, Chris Wong reeled back in his seat because I think even he was surprised. Ooh, that nice that check. Nice that check. Made, but he's got to switch things up. And boy, has he done it. That was a good ass check. First round. Round. Bruh, it's so funny how every time the when there's a finals and the reset is free as hell. After the reset, that's when it's like it's start losing always it, yeah. when they wake up and it's closer. You have to wake up. Yeah. And then walks under. No punish counter, but he got something to work with. The punish counter is there. Another actually, he's gonna back away. No big conversion. Thankfully for Uma's sake. So walk out of the corner. Chris Wong is so lame. You get all the real estate to work with, so I think it's the safest. Yeah, yeah that was uh -oh. close. Here comes the Feng Shui engine again, and he lets it rock. The delayed hit. Oh, oh what the fuck? Bruh, she landed behind. For unexplained reasons, she was just behind. to cover the entry. Still not throw taking there's Chris Wong. He's not panicked yet. When he starts throw taking, he'll panic. He's holding it down here. Uma can't take an action just yet. Chris Wong knew that. That's why he's trying to make sure he does as much drive gate damage as possible to keep him in the amber. Look at Chris' face. You can tell him. he's sweating. Like, he, he's thinking about every yeah. decision. Yeah. To destruction and Chris Wong is threatening that, that exact I ain't possible. never seen that level of focus before. Bro, a million make people time out in Street Fighter 6. That was fine. We can take that. But Chris Wong might try to bait him into doing a button and catch him with the second crouch medium. Let's find out. Ooh. On the clock, we're gonna see Ooh. Really empty move. Ooh. Oh. He got the life lead, I think. Oh, no, not yet. No, not yet. Oh. 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 Jeez. With two seconds on the clock. That was a very interesting decision. I'm surprised about that. Got Chris Wong the rounds. Good pressure there. Almost in burnout in 90 seconds here is Chris Wong. I know he's got two bars, but he's got to be very careful. Got to make sure some sort of attack connects. No anti I totally understand that because how Uma had delayed his dive fix. I totally respect that decision from Chris Wong. And even more so, the we figured out how uh -oh. Fire 6 is a good game. Both players just have to lose 700k the if they lose. That's when Footsie's that's when Footsie's returns. Uh oh. Rapidly here gets the overhead into a store. Oh, he's done. He's done. He's done. Wasn't the jungle version of the oh, possible? Store. Man, he's got so much damage after like, what two and a half sequences. Still not going for the rising up of my anti air there, and uh -oh. he's just gonna hold it down here. Uma, he's got to be very careful. Oh, that could have been with punishment. Oh, that could have been a lot of Lovely damage. Here. Doesn't get the perfect carry, but yes, I'd send him away as well. I do not want to deal with the Chris Wong with low vitality. Oh, Whoa. nah, that was crazy. Nah, he's, he's he said, Stop man. playing with me. Stop what the me. fuck? Nah, that was crazy. He won. He got it. <laughs> he got it. Combination of having a good hitbox on the uppercut and it's a forward moving. Nah. And of course, having the hurtbox on the sand blaster. It worked out for Uma there. One nil in this grand final reset. I thought we were actually going to see four games from the bounce from Chris Wong. That's crazy because right. if he if he missed that, that yeah, was, was damn dead. near death. <laughs> Again, hits him with the forward fist. He might have to utilize that a little bit more in the neutral to kind of get Chris Wong to think about different buttons to use. He's readjusting his spacing because of that button until he runs into danger there. It will be the flash double conversion. Okay, Bro, he yes, keeps doing that. It's for Uma. It really hasn't. It really hasn't worked for any of the juries against Chris Wong. Oh my god, he's getting frame trapped so like disgusting. Does he need his level one. The he's getting blast. frame trapped like a Street Fighter 5. I know this set is very stressful for both players. They're both stressed. Mm. <clears throat> And here comes the Feng Shui again. He doesn't want him to drive reversal because he'd be low on drive gauge. And he swatted him away like a newspaper to a mosquito. It's a 
straight to the corner here. Lovely safe jump there from Uma. Right reversal, keep him there. This is good. Uh oh. Even got the backdash towards the end of it, actually. Challenges immediately after a frame advantage button there with the snap medium punch. Look at the spaces, yeah. Right under the nah, Chris is locked in. For a lot of the players to check the defensive maneuvers. Look at the defense. The, the jump. Oh, no. Oh, nice. Oh, 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 I ain't never seen that. drive rush <laughs> down like it, Fury. Crazy late there with the active frame for the stand like it. Oh. One hit from Chris Wong should do the trick. But oh, dead. Hit first and he takes the round. And that was actually rather sneaky, right? After the stand jab, it was Chris Wong's turn to press the button, but I just don't even know what button it was. Or maybe it was too late because that's that immediate punch. Chris not anti -er. True. Moving on to the next round here. Drive reversal on a sand blaster. Interesting. I guess he wants to space and store up as much as possible before he goes right back in. Right uh oh. In wow, that was, that was so early. Well, these guys have actually been catching each other off guard a little bit with the really close drive rushes into mediums or lights. He tried to do it there, Uma. Charges up. I think if he tried to trick him into doing something, not sure, but he gets a punish count throw anyway. We're gonna see mm. a Feng Shui engine soon. No, oh, he got made it. Stop. Yeah, he breaks it with the storm. He might die. He's, he's gonna build level three. Yeah, well, no, he would have built level three. Bro, he could have killed. This dude is weird. Bro, he's doing this for the millie? Yeah, he definitely could have just leveled three. Yeah, 100% could have killed. Still in dangerous territories. No overhead, please. Bro, not killing Luke is insanity. Chris Wong, he's trying to perfect high so he can turn something around. But maybe he can get in range of a throw and grab and be sneaky, but he can. Forward throw. Ooh, fun. Oh, oh. From that exchange, Bro, he always got a does, does that, dude. Chris Wong thought he could get the punish. Bro, I feel like if you do drivers from far away, they're mad hard to punish. I have to give credit to some of these players because they're doing certain projectiles or certain attacks from a very range where drivers are. Nah, I'm not going to put this on YouTube, yeah. One game away from the So even then, tried to punish, didn't get it. And the guys are ready immediately to try and get the button there. Spacing traps are very dangerous in fighting games these days. It's 2-0 to Uma in the reset here. And it should end in at 1 a.m. Shit crazy. Yeah, I definitely said this shit would be six hours. Secure the million dollars, or will Chris Wong have the answer? Dry rush or dry reversal? Sorry, dry reversal. Yeah, doing dry reversal from kind of far away, even if it's blocked, is kind of hard to punish. That's the second time I've seen him punish somebody. He keep trying to shimmy Uma, but Uma don't tuck. He's got one game to play around with, but again, the million dollars on the line, and he's trying again. He's been a little bit more aggro with his choices. That so. is, that is a little bonkers. We'll Ooh. That. Ooh, Wait, nice. Ooh, that's huge. He needed that air reset. Yeah. Oh shit. Hit confirms. confirms. Oh, nah, he, got shit. he got it. 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 Yeah, it's looking like he got that. Yeah, he got it. Can't lie. It's over. <laughs> Uh, I don't care if he threw him in the corner. Oh, no, didn't even get the stun. Mm, this don't matter, bro. He, he yeah, doing shit like that? Yeah, it's over. Sheesh. If he doing shit like that, it's over, bro. The game. He knew what risks were applied, and he takes it there, and he is on cap cut 10 point. The crowd is cheering for him right No one expected this. Nah, definitely not. Swung, sweating. Swain indeed, Swain buckets, but he gets the conversion into the flash knuckle, chasing down for some Oki here. I wouldn't be surprised if we see an uppercut from I'm Uwa surprised soon. he didn't level he one now. Risk it, but hey, I think he knows what position he's in. Puts him down, jumps away, and then gets grabbed. Yeah, Uma literally rebels. does not touch. Yeah, he's still throwing fire. Oh, dead. I'm surprised he's still throwing fireball after front throw, even though Uma has level one to him so many times. Damage conversion, he's, burning himself out. But he he's stopped been doing for some reason. Saw after the drive rush on several different ranges, but I think Chris Wong's clocked onto where he's doing it from up close. Far away is a little bit different. He's definitely identifying things Ouch. that go along with punish there with the forward hard punch. And it's so difficult to whip punish that because of the startup and the speed. Ooh, punish. Oh, okay. Yeah. Level three. Three. Level three. three here. Hold on, he's fighting back? Right. Yeah, he definitely got to spend it there. The you think you're going to wake up level three? No. You punish it. I would. Let's see what the choice is from Uma. Oh, even better. Oh. He's gonna burn him out. Yeah, even. Oh, that's stun. That's free stun. Oh. Now he's gonna stun. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's done. He's done. Yeah, he's dead. He's guaranteed. GG. GG. Oh, oh, don't drop the combo. The uh, uh, uh. Checkmate it out the millie.
I told y'all. I was like, yo, don't sleep on yeah. Uma. Don't sleep. I told y'all. You know he's feeling himself right now. Yeah, he's feeling himself. Immaculate from start to finish. Making waves outside of the pools in the group stage. Making his name known. He's a millionaire. That's what I'm talking about. Magic and checkmated out of the middle. We see our hosts on the stage right now. Let's hand Is it that a hitbox he playing on or a stick? I don't even our know. Street Fighter 6 champion. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long time coming. From the beginning, I didn't know. I constantly beat my ass at Evo. Has been building like up to this moment. And now we have our Capcom Cup 10 champion, Uma! Oh, <laughs>